What's up chicas? Welcome back to my channel. Super happy that you are here. If you're tuning in for the first time and this is your first time here on my channel, I have to say welcome to my channel. My name is Frances Michelle. Super happy that you guys are here. So this video is a highly requested video from my Instagram family and my Snapchat family. I normally do videos because you guys request them. That's how it works here. So this video today, as you guys saw in the letterings and the title, is totally different from what you're normally used to see here on my channel. But because lately I have embarked in this awesome journey of Bible journaling, a lot of people have reached out to me through my Instagram and through my Snapchat when I show what I'm doing. And you guys are like, what is that? I want to know what it is. Can I? Can you do a tutorial? Can you tell us what it is? And it's so much information that I cannot just sit down and record a Snapchat story or Instagram story to show you guys what Bible journaling is and how amazing it is. So I just decided to just go ahead and do the video that you guys asked for. So this video is a requested video by you guys and I'm happy to record it because I feel like I am doing, I am opening up myself to something that it's mine, it's private. Like I didn't think I would put this out there guys, honestly speaking. Like this world is just about makeup, fashion and very, um, very superficial stuff like fake stuff. Come on. I don't look, I don't look this flawless in real life. You can ask my husband. Like. I literally don't wake up like this so like for me to open up myself and do a video and put a video out there of something that I do behind closed doors which is like my Bible journaling for me kind of was like but then why not you know like why not show people that I'm into the Bible I am Christian and I've, I've been Christian since I'm four years old and um, I'm not ashamed of it. So here I am recording my Bible journaling um, like tutorial or like what is Bible journaling and I'm explaining to you guys what it is and some people are like, oh, how pretty you draw in your Bible. Uh, no, it's not just that. So if you guys really wanna see what Bible journaling is, how I do it and how it has changed my life, then all you have to do is keep on watching. to let you know what Bible journaling is. Um, Bible journaling is pretty much, it's something that that was created by someone. I'm still trying to figure out who created it so I can see her and high five her. Uh, because myself included, like I said, I've been in the gospel since I'm four years old and I've always had like a respect for the Bible. Like I tell my husband all the time, I don't understand it. I can't read it because I don't get it. And my husband's like, you need to focus on it like it's a story. Like, literally live the story. And I'm like, yeah, it's still not happening. So, and I'm a very visual person. When I saw this community of Bible journaling, if you hashtag Bible journaling, it's an amazing, humongous community. And I started seeing, like, all the stickers and all the drawings and all the washi tapes. And I was like yes normally you guys know i'm a planner freak and i do that same thing i do it on my planner you guys seen plan with me videos here so you guys know that i'm into i love stickers and i love washi tapes and i love all that so when i saw that you can take that from your planner into your bible i was like oh god's talking to me he's like i need you to get into the bible it started about two years ago but not till like this year not till like this couple of months i've actually decided to get in it full time so and i tell you guys it's like my go-to moment where i can like release all my stress and where i can just like disconnect from everything and just like enjoy what i'm reading and just kind of like I don't know just flow like honestly speaking so Bible journaling is pretty much when you sit down and you pray you can pray you can um, have like a worship song and then you can just kind of meditate on a word and a, a, a verse in the Bible a chapter in the Bible um, the cool thing about this is that if you don't know where to start like you don't know what um Bible chapter to read um, the, Bi the Bible journaling community has like um, monthly devotionals, monthly kits that that month they're going to cover one subject and then every single week they tells you which um, chapters to read for that um, month kit. This month's kit for November is gratitude. So it has a 30 day challenge. So every single day we have a different um, 
subject and every single day it has a different Bible chapter and a Bible verse that you can read and then you can do your Bible journaling from there. So Bible journaling is not just re get in the Bible and start drawing. Bible journaling is um, kind of you choose a chapter and you read you read that chapter and whatever verse pops to you and speaks to your heart then you just meditate on that verse and you can just draw whatever comes to your mind you draw it on the bible um if you're starting out bible journaling what is it that you need so first off of course you're going to need a bible you're going to need a journaling bible this bible i picked it up at a local store so this bible is called the beautiful works the beautiful word and it's a new international version and of course it has let me show you I'm gonna show you real quick, hold on. Okay, some pages already has a drawing on it, but then some pages have an empty side on it. You need an actual Bible journaling to do the journaling, so you actually have space on your margins to do the drawing. So you're gonna need a Bible journaling. I'm gonna put the links to all the Bibles that I think are amazing for Bible journaling on the bottom. All right, so the next thing you're gonna need for uh, Bible journaling is a little kit like this. Um, and this I picked up at Michael's. And this kit here is pretty much amazing because inside, so inside you have pretty much markers, you have color pencils, uh, crayons, actually they're crayons, and then you have here uh, highlighters and you have the precision pens that you use so that it won't bleed to your page. So I highly recommend getting these kits to start out because like that you can draw with this, you can color with this, you can draw with this, and of course you can highlight with the highlighters that you have here. For painting in your Bible, if you go to illustratorfaith.com, I'm gonna put everything in the links on the bottom, I highly recommend you picking up a set of acrylic paints. These are the acrylic paints that I use. They're all from the Illustrated Faith, as you can see. They're all from the Illustrated Faith. Um, pretty much this is where it all started. So if you go to illustratedfaith.com, you'll see everything and you can take it from there, you can buy it. So I highly recommend a journaling Bible. Duh, if you don't have a journaling Bible, how do you have the journaling Bible? So you need some acrylic paints. You can also find the acrylic paints like these at Walmart. They're way, way cheaper and they still work about the same. But these are pretty cool. They come like uh, six colors and they're all like really like useful colors. So I highly recommend that. Um, you're going to need a precision pen. I use this one that comes in this kit right here because this pen does not bleed through it. Um, you can use, you can also buy brushes so you can paint with your acrylic paints. But the awesome thing about the Illustrated Faith is that there's no rules. You don't have to know how to draw. They come these little cards and these are their um, paint cards. And what I do is I place a little drop of the paint on the card and then I just sort of scrape it onto the page and that's it, that's all I do. I don't kind of like make my life harder with the painting, this is not like all that. Now for extras, you can, ha um, you can buy yourself some um, stamps. Some of the kits that you buy, that you, if you start buying kits from Illustrated Faith, they will include a clear stamps and I just went ahead and purchased these um, separate individual ink pads for whenever I have to do stamping on my Bible and that's pretty much what I do. You can get yourself some washi tape so you can decorate the pages and of course you're going to need um, some tabs. Now the awesome thing about um, Bible journaling especially with the Illustrated Faith community is that if you go to illustratedfaith.com, I'm gonna put it on the bottom, if you go to illustratedfaith.com and you go to the print and pray shop, this is the awesome thing. All you need is a printer, guys. All you need is a printer. Um, you can use sticker paper, a clear sticker paper, or you can use cardstock paper. And then from there, you can print all the little cutouts that you see people use on their Bibles. So I'm gonna show you real quick. So this here is one of my Bible journalings that I did this week. This is one of the subjects that we were talking that the devotional, that the 30 days of gratitude was talking about. It was, um, we're thankful for our children. So, okay. This cutout, this cutout, this, 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 everything you see here is pretty much from the print and pray shop, guys. So this is what it looks like. I'm gonna show you. You go into the print and pray shop and you purchase any of the um, collections they have. And you just print them at home if you have a printer. This I printed on cardstock paper and all I do is I go in and I cut it and with some glue, I glue it to my um, to my Bible, as you can see. And most of them already have tabs. So 
you call you cut out the tabs and you put the tabs on your Bible so those are the tabs that you need on there so this here guys real quick let me show you the page this one it has a little bit more so this page right here is the 30 days of gratitude if you can see it's numbered to 30 and every day it has a different subject and if you see on the side it has um the bible um scripture so for right there family first timothy 548 so it kind of tells you how to do it where to go along with it here i have another um thing that i printed out and you see it already comes with tabs so every season they have like different sort of um designs to go with the season this season they have everything of gratitude they have everything of, of thanksgiving and whatever look how beautiful these things are they are so cute i printed this in sticker paper so this is sticker paper i'll just cut it and it doesn't have to be perfect the awesome thing about bible journaling is that it does not have to be perfect um these these are the kits that come they come like this these are also cutouts from the print and pray workshop also these here all these are cut out from the place so it's not like you have to go and buy a whole bunch of things you just need to get your bible you just need to get some acrylic paint some um brushes if you want to draw some brushes of course i recommend this because it has pretty much all the um, markers and all the highlighters in there and that's it honestly speaking from there you can take it on and buy other things like i bought other things like i have bought these paints are amazing these are called the distress paints they are like um they look like water paint but if you don't want to make the mess of a water paint and use use the water and use the watercolors and make a mess like me because i don't make a mess then i decided to buy these inks that are called distress inks and they're just pretty much look i'm going to show you they're just ink pads just like these, but when you place them in the Bible, let me see if I have one that I've done with that one ink did. All right, let me show you real quick before things start falling apart. You see this blue on the background? Kinda, you can see it a little bit. You can still read through the lines. That is the blue from the distress. That is this green right here. It kinda gives you that watercolor, but at the same time, you're not gonna make a mess. How do I stamp them? This is what I use. These little things are right next to the um, right next to these things, and I just pretty much take out the foamy one, and I place the other one, and I just do this, and I go like that all over my Bible. I bought a um, kit, which is the kit. This kit I bought. This paper, this kit was for the 30 days of gratitude, and it's so beautiful because it has super cute acorns, and it has some flowers. And then it has some cutouts already that says grateful and whatnot. And then it comes with some, it comes with some stickers already. And then over here it comes with more stickers that you can place. This I bought. If you go into Illustrator Faith, you'll see the gratitude kit. And that's the one that I bought. Every single month you can buy different kits and it'll help you go along with it. And I created this one. This one is from this one also because it has four weeks. And then the week one is Father God. The week two is about Jesus. Week three is about the Holy Spirit. And then week four is about the Bible. And then, of course, it comes with some um, journaling cards so you can write a little bit of what God is speaking to you. So I created this little booklet myself, you know, so I can write more if it doesn't fit in my Bible. So, guys, that's pretty much what Bible journaling is. Um, it's just pretty much... You, you spend some time with God, you read a devotional, you read a passage, you let God speak to you, you ask for a creative mind and just go from it, from there. See, like, I'm just gonna show you a couple. It's about music, if you guys can see. It's about music, and I just pretty much highlighted the, the verse, and it's all about praising Jesus. So I decided to write praise all over, just to see, sing a song, praise, praise, praise. So that's pretty much it, and of course, let me show you this one. This one right here is about reading. It's about the Bible, it talks about the Bible. What I did is I placed this little card on top so you can still read the Bible and then I just took a little bit of notes and I put some books and whatever. But I decided to go onto my little journaling cards here and I kind of decided to write a little bit more of what God spoke to me in that verse and I just wrote it in the Bible, in the journaling that goes with that part. So guys, that is all, honestly speaking. It is not a big deal. It's, you don't need to have like a whole bunch of kits to start. You start little by little, like I said. Um, just make sure you get your Bible journaling. Just make sure you get some pens, some acrylic, um, some acrylic uh, paint, and 
go ahead and go into the print and shop and start printing little by little um things that are going yeah you're going to be gluing into your um into your bible and that's it honestly speaking i will do a tutorial on one of the pages pretty soon for you guys so you guys can actually see how i do it all and how everything comes together but this is just a one-on-one -on -one, one -on -one basics on bible journaling i really hope you enjoyed this video and if you guys want to see a bible journaling series on my channel let me know give me a thumbs up i will continue to do it i will do at least one video of bible journaling a week for you guys so you guys see how everything comes together so yeah thank you guys for sticking till the end if you liked the video don't forget to give it a thumbs up and if you haven't subscribed to my channel go ahead and hit the subscribe channel right over there and as usual thank you so much for your love thank you so much for your support Mwah. muchos besos i'll see you ladies on my following video adios